Hey guys, this is Sean with Legendary Marine. Just doing a quick walkthrough on this boat for you, as mentioned. Um, I will preempt you a little bit. We've had six thunderstorms in the past four days. Um, so she does have a little dust on her. We're gonna knock that off for you, of course. Um, but let's get started, get you through it. Starting from the business end, of course, we can see our quad 350s. Beautiful sight to see. We've got three big old water, um, underwater lights here as well. Stainless steel props. As mentioned, she has right in the mid upper 300s uh, hours on her. So like 380, I believe the number is. I'll, I'll get that set up for you. Sent out for you rather. Um, right here, this is a cool feature that Boston Whaler does. Uh, when the motors are running, this is actually gonna have an orange and yellow light that spins like this to indicate that, you know, don't go near the boat. So when you're at sandbars and stuff like that, for whatever reason, if you have the motors running, that way people know behind you. Nice big trim tabs here. Also, you do have underwater lights that are facing down. Um, always good to have for the fish, when they, especially if you're night fishing, doing an overnight trip. Um, here's all your stainless steel through hole fittings. Boston Whaler logo, of course. Um, our marina does have some muddy water in certain places. Just a little scum line that'll come right out. Big tuna door. You can see this is a pretty cool color. And she is a used boat, so there's a couple of small scuffs here and there. You can see this one here, I can actually feel that. That may or may not come out with a buffer. But running down the side, you can see the nice windows for the cabin and stuff. Pretty cool look. Got a through hole stainless steel anchor, which is nice. Nice clean look, nothing in the way up top. You can see underneath the boat. Very, very small gel coat chip right here. But other than that, she looks pretty clean. I'm gonna try to move this phone as little as possible so I don't get you guys dizzy, but. Walking back around on our starboard side over here. Nice big hole. Let me see if I can back up and get you kind of a profile shot. Good looking lines on her, you gotta give her that. Walking aft, let me see if I can find some scuffs for us. Any damage. There's a small, two small scratches there. That might've been just from resting up against the dock. Little spot here. Ah, that looks like that'll come right out actually. But there's kind of a walk around on the back of the boat. I'll get you another profile here. Sharp looking boat. Let's move up. So starting at the transom here on the starboard side, you can see this little strap here. We're gonna replace that. I had mentioned that to you, Michael. Nice ladder to get in and out on the back here. Nice grab rail, pop-up cleat. Freshwater wash down to knock the salt water off of you. And a courtesy light here. They're all around this boat. So at night she glows in the dark. Pretty cool. You can see we got rod holders across the back. Freshwater fill. And then you have your engine flush too. Your marina guys are gonna love you for that. Nice entry door here. Pop that closed or open. Shore power hookups. JL audio speakers are throughout this entire boat. Under gunnel rod storage. Nice big fish boxes over here. Then on our port side, you have the other side of that dive door. Uh, what's pretty cool is you have a integrated ladder right here that'll actually mount right to this plate and go over the side. So if you guys dive or for the sandbar party, stuff like that, it's just a really nice access point on this boat. Also have a grab rail that folds out as well. Again, more JL Audio speakers. This thing makes some noise if you want it to. Uh, more rod holders, cup holders. Got a nice live well right here. Recirculator. And then this actually has a fold-out seat right here on the transom. 
We've got a forklift coming by. Hold on one sec. So here's that bench seat folded out. Nice option. When you have more people on the boat, also on the way out for fishing, have a little more comfort, then drop her down when it's time to fish. So this is a giant bilge access door. Always good to have a nice big door to be able to access all your maintenance stuff that you're gonna need. Um, just worth noting before I open it, see this little tab here? There's another one over there. That's actually a mount for a big teak table. So for entertaining, entertaining you can have a nice picnic table out here for this aft bench seat. Um, I'll show you here in a minute. Ugh, popping her open. You can see there's that teak table that I had mentioned. These will screw right into the floor. Table mounts to it. And they have a nice dedicated storage place here for it, which is cool too. Uh, moving down, you can see there's your generator. Uh, fresh and raw water wash downs. Looks like a live well pump over here. Fresh water wash down as well over here. All your batteries, some wiring, uh, fuel filters. Everything's all here in one place, which is nice. Got two sets of bilge pumps as well as uh, float switches too. So here's the manifold for all your plumbing. I'm actually facing forward down on this bilge pump now. Um, it's nice to be able to turn, let's say for example, the sink. If there's a plumbing issue in the future, you pop this valve closed, you go fix the sink, pop it back open, you're good to go. You don't have to turn everything off and all that. Um, you can see these are all our battery chargers here. Vacuum flush system for the head and the holding tank. These are your power assist pumps for the motors. Looks like another freshwater pump. I'll have to verify that. Fire extinguisher, everything ready to go. So in the aft cockpit, facing forward, this is what they consider their leaning post slash entertainment station, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, plenty of storage here. We've got three big drawers. And then uh, these, I believe, are both refrigerator freezers. Like I had mentioned to you, Michael, sometimes the ice makers, they really don't keep up with you. So buying the ice at the dock usually is a good option. Got a nice sink right here, fresh water. Spot for paper towels. Um, you can put bait knives, tools, pliers, all that right here when you're fishing. Extra storage under here, nice granite. Got a grill. I'll pop this down. Now looking up, you can see uh, we have courtesy lights, mood lights, whatever you want to call them, and then also our spreader lights. So this will light up this whole aft deck for you especially for night fishing coming in at the dock this thing looks like a spaceship at night you guys are gonna love it um, also you push a button this whole piece comes out motorizes out and you have a full enclosure uh, for shade uh, not an enclosure uh, just a shade awning rather so a pretty cool setup there again more jail audio speakers down here in the gunnel got another subwoofer right here more storage fish box on the floor more storage right here these little fold-out seats are kind of nice as well. If I can pop this open. Got a nice little spot right there to put extra people. Then moving forward to our helm, we have our captain's chairs. I think I skipped the spot here for you. This is a fold-out row as well, so you can put additional seating behind your captain. So here's your three captain's chairs here, here's co-captain. And uh, these actually move forward and back. You have armrest, and then you can either use it as a leaning post, how it's set up right now. I'll demonstrate. Where you literally just lean up on it, or we can pull it forward and sit on top. I'm trying to not to get you guys too dizzy, sorry. Uh, real nice helm here. I love how it's laid out. Um, first off, you have your anti theft little chip right here. Take that with you. Usually they're going to have you keep it in the marina. Um, you have all your trim tabs here. So this will uh, change the behavior of the boat, how it's riding. You got a remote control here for your fusion stereo. Push button start. Here's all your gauges. 
and you can also display the information on the motors up on the big screens as well. Um, this does have autopilot as well. That's built into the skyhook and the uh, joystick control. It's all a package deal. So that's a plus there. DTS digital controls. I'll show you how to use all these once you guys get down here. And uh, here's a real nice spotlight, all your controls here. You can move it up, down, left, right. Um, so when you're looking over the bow, it gives you a nice little vantage point, especially if you're at night, whatever else. A little spot for phones, keys, wallet, all that fun stuff. All your accessories clearly labeled here with stainless steel switches. These will actually light up too, which is nice. And uh, one of my favorite features, pop this bad boy open when you're running on a hot day, you got AC blowing right in your face. So it's not just the cabin that's air conditioned. And I believe there's more right here. Yep, here they are. For your uh, passengers as well. So, nice feature there. Cup holders throughout. And you can see here we have a ladder to get up to the top. So if you just want to jump off the T-top or if you had a second station here. Uh, there's also another access point right here. Additional rod holders. Everything's powder coated. Up here you have storage for your life jackets. And I believe, look what I just found. Looks like that's the enclosure for this entire thing. So you can enclose uh, the entire helm and cockpit of this boat. I'll unfold those and make sure everything is as it should be too for you. Um, up here, extra storage, also access. Oh, I need two hands, hold on. 